The city isn't just cutting jobs, it's cutting programs. As a result of the city's budget problems, funding for the Domestic Violence Advocate Program has been cut. Starting January 1st, it will no longer exist. KXY 4's Tori Brene joins us now. And Tori, this program helps hundreds of women a month. Yeah, the advocates reach out to every domestic violence victim in the city of Spokane that is reported to the police department. They help victims find a safe place to live, file police reports, restraining orders, and most importantly, give them the strength to stand up to their attacker and get out of a potentially deadly relationship. It is a fearful, um, degrading um, can be terrifying experience. This woman is a victim of domestic violence. She wanted to hide her identity, but she wanted to speak about the importance of domestic violence advocates. It would have been a very extremely painful situation without them. She says being attacked by someone you trust is not something any woman plans on. And the shock can wear off um, and then it, it's fear for um, will there be more. After she was attacked, she didn't know where to turn. The unknown of um, what's going to happen next. Where do I go from here? How does this work? What do I need to do? Fortunately, she had an advocate. The domestic violence advocates call every single victim that gets reported to police. They help find safe housing, file restraining orders, and are the only link between the victims and the prosecutor's office. You can't just call up and talk to the prosecutor and say, you know, what's going on, How, how's it going, what's, what's your plan? The advocates help thousands of women get out of abusive relationships and starting in January, the domestic violence advocates could go away. The city cut funding for the program, saving them $115,000. The advocates wonder what will be the real cost to the community. So all these steps that we've taken to advance and make our community safer and make our home safer is going to go backwards um, and people will stop coming forward. Any victim. Um, needs to be able to stand up for themselves. The advocates say the prosecutors who handle domestic violent cases are worried about what they will do without them. Right now, the city and the prosecutor's office is working together to find other sources of funding to keep the domestic violent advocate program going. In the newsroom, Tori Brunetti, KXOY4 HD News.